We have breaking news from the open seas. A prehistoric fish tried to eat several passengers today, but fast-acting crew members prevented a disaster. We'll have this story and a full ship tour on Harmony of the Seas after a word from our sponsor. What's up, y'all? It's Jeff and Pam with you, me and the Sea Travels, bringing you another adventure. Let's start this tour with our outside activities and decks. The Challenger's Video Arcade has lots of fun games to keep you entertained. This is Mini Bites, an afternoon shack shop featuring nachos, quesadillas, and a fajita station. There are also desserts and lemonade available. Around the corner is a freestyle machine if you have the beverage package. Here we have enclosed table tennis, a brilliant idea I might add, which backs up to the sports court. Here you can see an instructional pickleball class being held at the moment. One of the cabin options overlooks the boardwalk at the back of the ship. Here's a sly marketing campaign to encourage you to ride the 10-story slide. This is the famous abyss, a 10-story slide. It's not a water slide, though. You hop on a mat and descend to the boardwalk area of the ship. It's quicker than taking the elevator. Now, if you need some liquid courage to ride the abyss, the wipeout bar is directly in front of it. The bar is also located between the two, yes, two flow riders on board. That brings us to Harmony Dunes, the professional mini golf course. You don't have to play like a professional to enjoy the course though. There's also a small zip line on board that cuts across the sports deck as you can see in the corner. Here comes a passenger on the zip line now. The fuel lounge is for teens to hang out with other kids their age. 
It is located on the back deck next to the table tennis area. The living room is another hangout area for kids 12 to 17 years of age. On deck 15 we have Splash Away Bay, the kids pool area. On the port side of the ship is another sports pool. On decks 14 and 15, the Solarium is a relaxing indoor-outdoor retreat just for adult guests. The glass canopy area boasts of fantastic views while you enjoy swimming pools, whirlpools, and lounge area, as well as cascading lagoons. After Pam and I discovered the solarium, we would have breakfast in the restaurant area. It was less crowded than the buffet and the food was fresher. Directly behind the solarium sits the perfect storm, which consists of three water slides. Sitting in front of the perfect storm are the main pool and a beach pool. There are two bars on either side here at the pools, the sand bar and pool bar. Wow, it's really hot outside today. Let's take our tour inside now. We'll start with Adventure Ocean, the playground for kids 3 to 11 years old. It is included in your cruise fare.
The Royal Babies and Tots program is for little ones 6 months up to 36 months. Seven Hearts is the place where you can play board games or card games. Up next is Wonderland, Imaginative Cuisine. Loosely based on Alice in Wonderland, it has a very quirky atmosphere. From the magical menus down to the unique food presentations, those who dine here won't be disappointed. Dazzles is a nightclub and disco all rolled into one with all types of live music. It is located on decks 8 and 9. Now let's go visit the boardwalk. This is an area of fun. The first thing you see upon entering the boardwalk is the carousel. At the boardwalk hot dog you can create your very own hot dog or brat. There are several shops here along with an arcade.
A little further down is a Royal Caribbean staple restaurant, Johnny Rockets. What you are looking at now is the end of the abyss, and over to the left is a play area for young ones where they can climb. Here's the Aqua Theater. When weather and ship conditions permit, it is the home of a spectacular water show. Make sure you get in line early. It is a very popular part of the entertainment on board. There are also two rock climbing walls on either side of the Aqua Theater. Also located in the boardwalk is Saber Taqueria and Tequila Bar. Here's where you can purchase Royal Caribbean branded items. There is also an up-and-coming coffee shop from Seattle on board. Starbucks. There are additional charges for this as well as Johnny Rockets. At night, the boardwalk really comes alive with its colorful neon lights. Now let's visit one of Pam's favorite part of the ship. Central Park. This open-aired neighborhood features live plants, specialty dining and high-end shopping. Park Cafe is the only eatery that is complimentary. Chops Grill is a steakhouse. It serves fine cuts of meat as well as seafood dishes. Let's take a quick peek inside. Here is one of the levels to enter on the rising tide bar. 
It's part bar, part elevator, and is a fun place to grab a drink. One hundred and fifty Central Park is a contemporary restaurant featuring a diverse menu, located directly across from Shop's Grill. As we walk through Central Park, you'll notice that there are balconies overlooking this peaceful part of the ship. Here is the trellis bar if you need a drink while resting in Central Park. Located in Central Park, Jamie's Italian serves rustic Italian cuisine created by British chef Jamie Oliver. While filming, we noticed a feathered friend looking for a meal. At the Park Cafe, you can get breakfast or lunch items, grab-and-go salads, and don't miss the legendary Royal Kummelbeck roast beef sandwich. Next door to Jamie's is Vintages, premium wine bar with a great selection of sparkling wines and champagnes. Across from vintages are some high-end shops including designer jewelry, watches, and handbags.
Let's move inside to the Royal Promenade. This is where you can find shopping, food, and entertainment. It's usually a very crowded area. You might even call it the heart of the ship. The large silver head you see in front of you comes to life when the live music is underway. Looking for a fun-filled night out? Look no further than Boleros, the Latin-themed club where the party never stops. Whether you're in the mood for a classic cocktail or something a little more exotic, expert mixologists will whip up the perfect drink for you. And with a six-piece band playing all the hottest salsa, cumbia, meringue, and samba hits, you won't be able to resist hitting the dance floor. At the on-air club, you can release your inner rock star in grand karaoke style. An authentic English pub, Boot and Bonnet, offers a great meeting place to enjoy pints, people, performances, and more. Across from the Boot and Bonnet is Sorrento's Royal Caribbean's latest pizza parlor. It offers a variety of different pies and a freestyle Coke machine. Kate Spade is the shop for trendy accessories and clothing. Cafe Promenade is a 24-hour eatery that offers quick coffee and pastry runs, as well as late-night snacks after clubbing. Down the way is guest services and the schooner bar on the second floor. The Bionic Bar introduces two robotic bartenders who know how to shake up your night out. And they can mix, muddle, and stir it up too. Let's now witness these Bionic Bartenders in action.
Making our way down the promenade, we find Regalia, a fine jewelry store. Next to it is Voom, the internet desk, and on the left is the port and shopping desk, where you can obtain discounts for shopping at the ports. Silk is one of the main dining rooms that also serves as a breakfast option. Izumi is the name of the hibachi and sushi restaurant available on board. During our visit to Grand A, one of the birds that lived on board entered the dining room, possibly in search of food. The Casino Royale is the perfect place for adults to enjoy themselves with a variety of slot machines and tables available to keep you entertained on sea days.
There is a small casino on the deck below that is designated as non-smoking. We always knew where to find it because of the unusual artwork. Studio B is a popular entertainment venue that hosts events such as ice skating, The Attic is a small venue that hosts comedy acts and karaoke events. In the Royal Theatre, we watch shows like Mark Preston from Las Vegas and Greece. The Fine Line is an aqua acrobatic show that takes place in the aqua theater, weather permitting. Unfortunately, the show had to be canceled twice during our cruise, which made it difficult for us to find seating for the one and only show. While we waited for the show, we were treated to a spectacular moon display. Our wait staff in the main dining room were excellent. They always asked about our day and what we did in port. Here are some of the delicious desserts we enjoyed. Windjammer is the name of the buffet restaurant on Royal Caribbean cruise ships. If you tend to overindulge at the buffet, you might find the walking or jogging track helpful. It's covered, so you won't have to worry about the weather. As you make your way around, you'll find some motivational sayings to keep you going. Speaking of exercise, that brings us to Vitality at Sea, the spa and fitness center. Out of all the cruises we have been on, this has to be the most elegant spa and fitness center I have ever visited. There is a Vitality Cafe where you can get some healthy snacks or drinks after a rigorous workout.
On Royal Caribbean ships, you can always remember what day it is. In the elevators, they display which decks the common spaces are located on. Our cabin steward was very creative in making towel animals. It took me several days to notice that the logo of Royal was embroidered on the bedspreads. Here's a full-length view of the Harmony of the Seas. Last but not least, Royal Caribbean loves to throw parties, often held on the promenade. We hope you've enjoyed our ship tour of Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and leave us a comment below about what you liked best. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to be alerted when our next video comes out. Hey guys, we thank you for watching. Be sure to check out one of these videos and we'll catch you next time as we go cruising through life one port at a time.